Hi, and welcome to another 12-minute prep lesson. Today we will be focusing on the caliper profile. The caliper profile is made of two parts, a personality assessment and a short cognitive section. Both parts will comprise your FIT score for the position you're applying for. In today's lesson, we will go over some sample questions. I will refer you to some excellent resources on how to prepare for the personality assessment. And we will also look into the components of the courses that I offer that can help maximize your score potential on the cognitive section of the test. Effective preparation for both parts of the test will make sure that you maximize your own FIT score potential for the position you're applying for. Let's start. The Caliper Profile is a multiple choice assessment that is used to measure both cognitive and personality traits, which are said to be predictors of job performance. The assessment contains 180 questions and is untimed. Caliper states it usually takes about an hour to complete. However, some test takers report that it may take as long as two or three hours. It can be administered online or with pen and paper, and employers can choose whether or not to proctor the test. All questions must be answered for the test to be submitted. The combination of cognitive and personality assessments gives employers a snapshot of your strengths, weaknesses, motivators, and stressors, and help them make sure you're the right fit for the job. The caliper assesses seven major areas of competency, leadership, active communication, interpersonal dynamics, decision-making, problem solving, which will be our focus for this lesson, process management, and self-management. Not all areas are tested equally, and employers can focus more or less on specific traits, depending on the position they're hiring for. For example, they may focus more on leadership for a managerial role. If they're hiring a nurse, they may focus more on interpersonal dynamics. Your more detailed score report will further break down your score into 21 traits, with an individual score for each trait. As with the competencies, the importance of each individual trait may vary depending on the candidate and the position you're applying for. Check out the links in the description to learn more about this. Your test results are generated and sent to the employer as soon as you finish and hit submit. However, you will not be able to see your results. Once the hiring manager assesses your results, they will see how well you fit into the specific position you have applied for. Your score will be measured against a norm group, meaning that your results are dependent on how other people perform on the assessment. Scores are grouped into three buckets based on a score range from 1 to 99. 60 to 99 is a natural fit for a position and strong alignment with the role. This means you're a good potential fit for the specific position you're applying for. 40 to 59 is a moderate alignment, and 1 to 39 would be a weak alignment, meaning it is not one of your strong areas and that you're likely a poor fit for the role. Preparing yourself for the personality section of the test can be best done by simply taking a personality test in advance so that you can experience what it is like to get a score report that will tell you how you're perceived through these assessments. Nowadays, there are many robust personality tests out there and some are even offered for free, including receiving a detailed score report. I will share a list of recommended personality tests at the bottom of this video. Once you've done the above, it is advised to conduct some research and find out what traits are most important for the job you're applying for. This way you'll know whether you're heading towards the right job or not. Now let's get back to the cognitive section of the test, as I believe it is where you could improve the most. The abstract reasoning trait in the caliper test is defined as the potential to solve problems and understand the logical relationships among concepts. People who show a high level of abstract reasoning ability should be capable of understanding complex issues. Individuals with low levels tend to be most effective when handling issues that have straightforward solutions. The cognitive section is broken into two main parts, abstract reasoning and numerical reasoning. Abstract reasoning questions will assess your ability to visualize and sort shapes as well as your ability to understand patterns. Question types include figural analogies. These questions will present you with an analogy of two figures and then a third figure. You'll need to figure out what comes next in the analogy. Figural series. These questions will present you with a sequence of figures and shapes with one space left blank. You will have to choose which shape or figure fits into that blank space. Figural matrices. 
These questions will present you with a 3 by 3 set of 9 squares, with shapes and figures in 8 of the boxes. You will have to figure out the pattern to determine what the missing shape or figure will be to complete the matrix. Let's take a look at a sample question. Take 45 seconds starting now. The correct answer is B. There are two patterns to notice here. First, the color changes across the sequence from black to gray to white, and then back to black. This means the missing shape will likely continue this pattern and be gray. Second, there is an alternating pattern in the even and odd frames, with the odd frames containing a large left pointing arrow and the even frames containing a smaller right pointing arrow. By this logic, the missing frame will continue the pattern in the odd frames, meaning it will be a large left pointing arrow. This makes B the correct answer. The numerical reasoning section contains only one question type, number series. These questions will present you with a series of numbers and you will have to determine what number completes the sequence. Pattern difficulty ranges from very simple to incredibly complicated. Let's take a look at a sample question. Take 45 seconds, starting now. The correct answer is D. Take a look at the difference from one number to the next. Plus 1, plus 4, plus 9, and plus 16. These are perfect squares. 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, and 4 squared. This means the next number should add 5 squared, which is 25. 42 plus 25 gives us 67, making D the correct answer. I cannot stress enough the importance of preparing for this test. Maximizing your score on the cognitive section is possible, and preparation is scientifically proven to do so. Countless examples show that with a moderate amount of preparation, you can drastically improve your score. Even improving your score by a few points can make a huge difference in your percentile ranking and get you closer to your required fit score. For example, imagine John's starting point prior to practice is a score in the 50th percentile. Completing a course with a thorough review of each question type, teaching him how to shortcut his response times and spot the traps more easily with practice examples, can lead to answering a few more questions correctly. Surprisingly, these few additional correct answers can boost him all the way up to the 75th percentile. That is, with the help of preparation, John got past 25% of the population of candidates, and this is just a modest success story on my website. Even if we take a much more modest scenario, there's absolutely no advantage to running into this test unprepared. The better you perform, the closer you'll get to Caliper's fit score that was set for your job. You can start out by taking my free introduction prep course on my website. This course has helped over 80,000 candidates to date. It is listed as a recommended resource among recruiters and HR teams. There is also the option of taking my paid prep course, which was created specifically for the caliper. You will get a 360 preparation experience, lessons for each question type, summary quizzes plus explanations, and solving tips to reduce response times, score reports to identify your strengths and weaknesses, test taking and time management strategies, 
and the option to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with a test expert who will help you maximize your own score potential. Start maximizing your score potential with 12-minute prep today.